Hey everybody, it's Wendy Lane Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager in Los Angeles, California. And it's been a while, I've been so busy. I've had such great success this summer with my clients. One of them got a role on Henry Danger, one of them booked Modern Family, one of them booked a role on The Colony on USA, and one of them just finished shooting a feature film. Grant Davis just finished a feature film that he was shooting up in Portland for four weeks that's coming out next year. I'm really excited about that. It's based on the book series, Something Like Summer, and it's a love story that you don't want to miss. So keep an eye out for him. He's also releasing his debut CD next year, and you should check him out on YouTube. He's a really gorgeous, funny guy. And I just love my clients. They're so talented. And I just wanted to check in with you guys. A um, lot of things have been going on. A lot of questions, and I want to thank you guys for supporting this channel and, and, and staying so close to me. You guys send me such beautiful letters and cards and gifts and emails. and, and, and <laughs> that, Did anyone see that really cute drawing that somebody made of me, like an angel with these big boobs? And I was like this fairy with these wings. It was so me. And all of you calling me the actor's angel these days. And um, I want to tell you how much it means to me that you, that you email me and that you write to me and that I'm helping you in your career. And I encourage you to stay close to me and keep an eye on, you know, my videos. If you're watching my channel and you're subscribing, take the time to sit down and watch as many videos as you can. Go through all of them because you'll learn more from me than you'll ever learn from anybody in this business. So that being said... Um, I want to talk to you today about, it's like a really obscure conversation, but I want to talk to you about money. Money, 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 money. And being that I'm a few years older than most of you who are watching, not all of you, uh, one of the things that you get when you get older is hindsight. And that means you get to look backwards and say, oh my God, I totally fucked up that. I could have done that better. And then you can share that wisdom with other people. Or you could have done something really well that paid off really well and you want to share that information too. What I've learned about money is that you need to have a lot of it in this business and in this life. You need to have a lot of it because it costs money to invest in your career. You need it for your headshots, your classes, your demo reels. Um, you know, you just need it for, there's, there's always an expense when it comes to your acting, whether it's printing your headshots out or printing out your resumes or... Um, you know, whatever. You know, there's a lot of expense required. You always need new headshots. Every couple of years, you need to reshoot three, four, five hundred dollars. Um, casting director workshops, whatever you're doing. So you got to figure out how you're going to make your money. A lot of people say to me, "I'm going to get rich in the entertainment business, and once I do this and that, I'm going to I'm going to get rich." And I want you guys to have an honest understanding of how much money you're going to make in this business. If you get lucky and you book a series regular role and it's a hit on a show, you're going to make a ton of money. You're going to make a shit ton of money. But for most actors, you work sporadically. You work maybe one or two days or three days a year on something that pays well, and the rest of the year, you're like, what am I going to do for money? So I, got, I want you guys to think entrepreneurially. That means figure out ways to make various streams of income. It doesn't only have to come from one source, like a nine to five job. If you can come up with three or four sources of income or streams of income, then the money will be coming in in different ways. It doesn't always work for an actor to work a nine to five job. You know that because auditions keep popping up. So if you're going to my blog, Secrets of a Hollywood Talent Manager, there's a great um, blog post called 50 Ways to Make a Living as an Actor. And it gives you amazing ideas you might not even think of for making money as an actor. Now. If you start your own business, that's a way. Maybe there's something you can really do, like build people's websites or your personal trainer or whatever. But don't let that be your only source of income. Think of other ways that you can make money. And then my suggestion to you is save as much as you can. Always think of in terms of paying yourself first. So if you make a check for $1,000, 20% of that goes in your savings account no matter what. And you don't touch it no matter what. Because over time, money adds up. And you will feel so grateful that you have $20,000, 30000 40000 in savings as kind of like in the back of your mind knowing, I'm safe. If there's a real emergency, I can afford to get myself out of it. If my car breaks down or if I have to move suddenly, I can afford a down payment and I can, you know, I, I can afford a new car if I need it. You need to have that peace of mind. And the only way to get it is to save money. So 
that's what I've learned over the years. You know, I've been really good at savings. I've quite a lot of money saved up. And I suggest that you do that as well. Because I've met actors who have been here for six, ten years and are broke. And they're not thinking of the reality that you need money and you need to save it. And, that, and they don't get very far because they're always out of money. They're always out of money for the things that they need. Okay, so I just want to put that in your head and think of it also like this. If you're 18 or 19 years old and you have really good credit, don't fuck it up. Buying a whole bunch of stuff you don't really need and charging yourself into debt. You don't need to do that. Um, and also think of it like this. What if you use that really good credit to buy a, a townhouse and then rent it out? And let that someone else pay your mortgage for the next 30 years. So that in 30 years, you actually have an asset that's worth a couple hundred thousand dollars. My brother did that years ago, which is really, really smart of him. He was in college, and he bought a town home. It was actually a four-bedroom. And he rented it out to three of his college friends. And he lived in one of the bedrooms, and three of his friends lived in the other. And those three friends paid his mortgage for, like, years. Now he's moved out of that place and he still has renters in it and they're paying off his mortgage and his 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 equity is going up and up and up. Now he's got more money in the house than he owes. So now he's got money. And you guys can do that too. You know, you guys don't think about it because when you're 18 years old, all you can really think about is like what's going to happen tonight? Am I going to get laid? Am I going to go out and drink? Am I going to go what am I going to do tomorrow? Am I going to have fun? You know, what's my goals this year? But time passes even when you're not thinking about it. And 30 years will pass, and you better have somebody paying a mortgage for you during that 30 years, since that time is gonna pass anyway. So that's my, my suggestion to you, is if you, know, you can find a piece of property with your great credit, and put $10,000 down, and get somebody in there to rent it, and let them pay you to live there. You're doing that probably yourself. You're paying somebody else's mortgage, you're paying someone else's rent, and they're making money off of you, but you're not making any of that money back. So the reason I say that is that part of being in show business is show business is learn how to be in business. Learn how to make money, how to save it, and how to invest it. And it will help your acting career, because believe it or not, one day you might say, you know what, I really found a, a part I want to play, and I'm going to produce it myself. I'm going to direct it and write it, get some people together. I got a producer. I got to get a cinematographer. I need 10 grand. I'm going to shoot that myself and get it in film festivals. And you can't keep crawling back to mommy to get your money. So you've got to learn how to make your own money. So I say read every book you can about making money, investing money, saving money, and it will pay off in the long run. Trust me. Um, that's just a little bit of information I want to share with you. You know, you guys will take it or you don't, but promise me, I promise you, I'm telling you the truth as I always do. Uh, also, my next video is going to be about relationships. Are they great? Do they suck you dry? Are they supporting you and, and helping you be more successful? Or are they tearing you down? You need to identify which one you're in and then maybe make some hard decisions. But that can affect your career too because if you spend time in a shitty relationship, it'll take time away from all the things you could be accomplishing in your career. And I will talk to you about that soon. So subscribe, stay in touch, keep writing to me. I love you guys. And um, um, thanks for reading my books. Keep reading them because they're going to do you more good than they are me. I already know all that information. You're the one who needs to know it. And I'll talk to you later. See ya.